It's really nice to be here. It's so exciting to see this uh, program, this fashion law program, taking off and growing. And I give Stacy a lot of credit. I know she's worked very hard on launching this, and I'm very proud um, and honored to be a part of it. Um, I taught the fashion law business course for the first time uh, last semester, and let me tell you, it was challenging. As you get into a curriculum and you see how many different issues touch your business, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't really think about it, but fashion law really is law. Every single issue that exists in law somehow enters into the fashion arena. You've got constitutional issues when you talk about whether or not a graphic on a t-shirt is offensive if it's free speech. You've got the issues with retail and leases and commercial property, um, real property. You've got the law of sales buying and selling, international trade, intellectual property. And so today, while we're here to talk about this one channel does not fit all in the omni-channel marketing, let me just first say that not only will we not cover all of the laws that affect omni-channel marketing, but there are a lot of laws that affect this channel of marketing that also affect the typical channels of marketing. So some of the things that we're talking about here, even though we're talking about it in the context of omnichannel marketing, also affect just the standard brick and mortar. They're not new concepts in law. They're concepts that have been around for a while. Like, for example, advertising and disclosure law is not unique to omnichannel marketing. It affects uh, standard retail operations that were from a brick and mortar location. One of the other things I noticed when I was preparing uh, my slides is that the FTC is all over this. I mean, <laughs> this is really about consumer protection, consumer product, consumer safety, and also about the protection of the workforce when you look at the overall body of law that we're going to touch on today. So one of the biggest things that affects um, our new online world are the consumer privacy laws. Now, by the way, consumer privacy laws don't just affect online because it has also a lot to do with um, um, purchases on credit cards. So it affects brick and mortar transactions as well. And you have different uh, schemes. You have different legal schemes. The states have their privacy laws, and the FTC has its own body of laws. And when you look at the consumer privacy laws, it's actually very broad. It covers a number of different things. We won't get into them all today, but just to give you an idea, there's general privacy laws. Then there's also HIPAA, which is the health information privacy. And there's laws that affect identity theft. There's laws that affect online privacy and the disclosures that you have to make when you operate a website as to what you do with the data, what data you collect and what you do with it. Unsolicited commercial communications, that's sort of like uh, telemarketers. And then FACTA, 